sometimes you've got to make a hell of a mess. Oh, shit! What? We got the right house! Meet Laurie Vaudier. The Demolition Man. Where you see mayhem... Ah, watch your head. Laurie sees money. That window might be worth 500 bucks at the end of the day. 60 bucks, 10 bucks. Oh, I'm excited. This time, a rookie demo man gets his big break. Brent's a little bit gung-ho sometimes. An old nursing home turns into a gold mine. Every two I lift up, I get a buck. Come on, Benny. And Laurie hunts down his weirdest deal yet. Oh, my Lord. It looked like the bloody dungeon of death. Laurie Vaudier. How good's that? Wheeler. I'll pay a hundred for it. That's it. Dealer. I'll touch you. Junk man. How much? How much? How much is that? Demolition man. Every week, Laurie clocks up hundreds of Ks behind the wheel of his trusty four-tonner. He rarely comes home without landing a deal. But today, he'll have to haggle with two of the best in the game. Good God. Dave. Uh, Look who's coming in here. The big boss is here too. Yeah, well, the big boss, you're talking to him. <laughs> what do you want? Dave and Brian run a legendary Ballarat auction house. There's nothing in here that's, uh, that that's, uh, uh, you'd buy because we know you're, uh, you know... A cheapskate. A cheapskate. Laurie's here to pick up a bronze statue he bought over the phone. But the demo man senses he'll find some more bargains if he can outdo Brian in the age-old delicate dance of the deal. Haven't you got anything broken? No, we've got something. We've got good things, beautiful things. There are some things that would look all right in your place. And your place needs more art. Wouldn't that look good down there in that beautiful house of yours? It'd be fantastic, mate. Right. Yeah, come over here, mate. Yeah. I still like them dog pictures. And they're English and they're absolutely outstanding. You know that. You've been looking at them for ages. You do like them. I do like them. Yeah. Take your partners, please. The dance is about to begin. As much as you haven't got any taste, Laurie, you've got a good eye. I'll give you credit. How much are they today? Oh, about 8,000, I suppose. <laughs> 4,000 <laughs> last night, you know. <laughs> you ought to be selling cars, you <laughs> Brian's barking up the wrong tree there. He's hoping his next quick step will help loosen Laurie's purse strings. And see, these 12 chairs here, they came from the Melbourne Mint. Did they? And they went into the Melbourne Mint in 1872. Usually, Laurie can't resist an antique with a story behind it. What are they going to bring at the auction? 400. Yeah, 40 bucks each. 400 each. 400 each? Well, what do you get? You've got... You've get. got... Oh, get... You're on drugs. <laughs> Come out here and sell me a bit of this copper. Copper. It's one of his favourite collectibles. What about those two copper pots there? Yeah, take the lot. How much for the lot? Oh, a thousand a lot. Time to tango. The French ones, the heavy. I want the jug. And then how much? Cash. Fifteen hundred cash. That's a very, very good deal. Yeah, only for you, Larry. They're, they're not worth a thousand bucks, mate. They're worth two hundred each. Where can you go and buy them of that heavy, that heavy material, that 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 quality stuff? I'll give you twelve hundred bucks for cash. Fourteen hundred. Twelve hundred. And I'm going to buy the scales of justice for eight hundred. Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. And two, two dear five. Are you going to do a deal or not? I can't. That's it. I the walk away. The oldest move in the book. But you can't dance without a partner. Where are you going now? Those five pots. The copper, including the, the, hang on. The five pots and, and the scales hey, of justice. Two Laurie, grand cash. Laurie. Two thousand on the lot, like you said. I'm happy. Two thousand? Jesus, you're a mongrel. You've never not won in your life. Another dance ends. Laurie waltzes off. 
with a new partner. The scales of justice. And I think the wrong bloke's got I reckon the wrong man's got this. I can't believe it. He's also beaten the boys down on some other choice goodies. They'll go to his house, but there's no justice in what he paid for it. <laughs> Which will no doubt turn the demo man a tidy profit at another dance somewhere down the road. jobs we do, we do for nothing. We do for salvage. So we've got to pull it out carefully so we can get a quid. In a city Melbourne, Laurie sent Jabba to take care of a small scale demo and salvage. Laurie wants to keep the tin, he wants the trusses. We'll get it pulled down neatly and out of the way without wrecking it all, stack it out the front for him. These wall panels will get 500 bucks at Laurie's scrapyard if they come out in one piece. The boys just said before the whole wall's wobbling, so they have to be obviously a lot more careful when they remove that last truss, because any certain pressure on it could bring the wall over on them. To look over the job quickly, Javin needs some extra muscle, so he takes a punt on a friend of a friend, Brent. It's easier to just get in there and smash it. That's me, in a, in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> That's the job interview done, Brent's in. A little bit gung ho sometimes. He's a bit like Laurie. He'll get into it and he'll just smash it. They're pretty good. I don't wreck a lot of shit, so it's handy. It's handy. From, um, from back here all the way to the front. Laurie knows if he can save the tin, save it. So I thought I'd save it to keep him happy. Do you want to go out there, Brent, see if that's screwed or nailed there? Brent, did I tell you to fold all the sheets over? I said to check if it's screwed or nailed. And I now you f***ed every sheet. Tell him to have a look at the, see if it's screwed or nailed so we can pull them apart nicely and he decides he's going to rip the whole wall down because it's dangling. I don't know how he was expecting me to sort of see behind the gutter. I don't have x-ray vision or anything, but I thought I'd take the gutter down and then see what's there. Time for Brent to get his story straight about the fence. The big boss is here. And he's not happy with what he sees. Brett, Brett, I'm not paying you to f around on the job. There you go, mate. All right. I hope you're not dirty in me machine. Nah, not yet. Laurie needs a hand to unload a truckload of gear back at the yard. That's Jabba's cue to drop poor Brent right in it. Are you going to give me somebody or...? Yeah, take him. He's been giving me the shits. Yeah, you can have it. Well, what about... He wrecked your tin. I was trying to save the, wall, the tin on the wall over there. I told him you don't want to have You feel shit out. You're like, yeah, I can't lie. Okay, but it gets here a little bit, but not like, you just gotta get over it. Coming up on Demolition Man, young Brent pushes his luck. They get a bit bored when there's not a lot to do, uh -oh. especially Brent. While Laurie and Benny enter early retirement. So the nurses look after you well in here, Laurie? Yeah, they do. Laurie Fortier has built a demolition empire from nothing. Much more than a knockdown merchant, he's a leader of men. Wah! I motivate people by the way I work. You know, if we get into a job, I don't want to be around. He's always first in. All the time. Look how he's in there. He charges in there like a wounded bull. Dad leads from the front. He'll do twice as much work as the last. He's a good leader. Get out of there. Come on. All these motivation techniques are... you got to move the door, Dan. Get going. Oh, you get the sack. <laughs> it is hard to get good help. He just yells. I didn't think he motivated. Oh, you 
Idiots, of course it's not. Come here. I love doing this job. This is this is the only job I've had for a long, long time. That's it. That's how we used to do it in England, mate. This classic example of a California bungalow was built after 1913 and is still in primo condition. So what's the demo team doing marching down the driveway? Oh, oh. Sorry, hey, mate. Okay, mate, how are you? Hi, Laurie. Laurie. Dean, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Dean. Yeah. full gut job, back to the, yeah. back to the frame. Yeah. Well, this is just one of Jabber's jobs. It's not a full yeah. demo. This is a delicate job. Wipe out one half of the house, keep the other. Just make sure you take out the right half. So your cut can be, yeah, wherever that wall is on the inside, mate, just yeah, right. that side of the wall. All right. um, that way you yeah. don't have to worry about the structural side of yeah. it. Laurie's got his own way of doing things. We've got to put our watchmaker's gloves on. We've got to do it gently. And sometimes his way of doing things just aren't really the best possible way. You get paid a little bit extra to be a bit careful. And you know how careful we are. And you know Laurie's not walking out of here without a little rummage around. So I've got to pull all the floors out. This is four-inch Baltic. Look at that, mate. Mm -hmm. Got a few doors at the back, a few windows. That's how we used to do it in England. It's not a bad job, this. It's, there's a bit of money in this job. Laurie couldn't be happier. How good's that, mate? Couple of grand before lunch, and on to the next deal. Leaving Jabba to run the show. All right, nice and gentle. <laughs> next step, get half a roof of terracotta tiles to the ground, quick smart. Brent's chance to shine. Roof's coming off nicely. As you can see, we're taking them off quite carefully and just placing them nicely down the driveway there. Everyone gets to have a bit of fun while doing it. But not everyone knows when the fun should stop. <laughs> uh -oh. They get a bit bored when there's not a lot to do. Especially Brent. <laughs> I don't want to be the dumb one. <laughs> Who done that? Oh, I can tell. Well, the builder's going to be impressed for that, isn't he? Buying, selling, wheeling, dealing. With his mobile office rolling 24-7, the demo man's always on the hunt for profit. Yeah. Have I got a deal for you? Oh, already? Air you up for carpet tiles. <laughs> I think I any. Just so happens a really good friend of mine, somebody I know really well, has got yeah. 15,000 of them. <laughs> you can probably get these for a dollar, maybe 50 cents. I love making deals. That's what I am, a wheeler dealer. An old retirement home due for a refit. Somehow, Laurie's wrangled a three-hour window to grab anything he can carry. The big bucks here are right beneath his feet. I've sold them tiles to Paul. Every two I lift up, I get a buck. I've got to go, like, get as many as I can up. Come on, Benny. You ought to be in the nurse when you're going that slow. It's not the first time Benny's been on the tiles. I'm like an automatic car control remover. Yeah, you're not bad at it. Look at that. Look how many we've done. Back at the demolition site in Essendon, Jabber's hit a snag. Tony, if you can call me as soon as you've got the 29A... It's tools down while Jabber waits for an extra permit to finish the demo. Let the games begin. You're going to put the green bin on top of that table and then the red bin has to go on top of that green bin. Yeah, all right, we'll have a go. And they get 
fall in the bucket. It wasn't me, that was the wind. Should have stacked it better. Over in the nursing home, Laurie and Benny are moving faster than these corridors have ever seen. So the nurses look after you well in here, Laurie? Yeah, they do. The valuable floor tiles are on the truck, but Laurie's not done yet. It's not great stuff, but, you know, they're going to chuck it in the tip. Why would you chuck it in the tip? It's just good stuff. Yeah, Laurie fitted in quite well. I think he might belong in the dementia ward, though. I don't think he's all there. Oh. Beautiful. Yep. That's how he used to do it in England. Well, I reckon he'll be happy, because he can deck out his house like a nursing home now. He'll feel right at home. Hang on, me brakes aren't working. We've got some tables and some chairs. We won't be short on tables and chairs. We should be right. Larry, I know you want to stay at the nursing home, but it's time to go. You've got your incontinence pads? Yeah, mate. That's job done for Laurie and Benny. Over at Jabber's worksite, after a three-hour delay, a demo permit finally comes through. Jabber, how you going, mate? Everything under control, mate. Everything's under control. You sure? You're not bullshitting me. I'm positive. We're, we're flying through it. Oh, I can find that hard to believe. <laughs> We've done well today. There's no damage. All right. What time are you going to finish? Three quarters of an hour. All right. I'll give you a call on the way home. All right. See ya. See ya. So with the all clear on the permit, Jabba has 45 minutes to flatten the back of the house. problem for the surgeon of smash and grab, right down to the millimetre. All done. Finally. Coming out. What out? A deer in the headlights. Oh, my Lord. As Laurie hunts for profit. Dead animals everywhere. <laughs> Sunday morning, and Laurie's planning a family outing. So, I'm coming. There's a nearby deceased estate sale that's got the dogs feeling nervous. Uh, we're going to go down to McVilly's house and have a look at all this, uh, you know, animals, uh, stuffed an animals. I got money. You got money? Yeah. Now, don't go overboard with your spending. Now, Laurie has heard rumours about what's inside this place, but he's never believed they could be true. Hey, mate. How you going? Good. Nice you to meet you. Like, you look like <laughs> McBeal. Oh, do I? Hey? <laughs> yeah, they come this way. Yeah, okay. good on you, mate. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, um, my uncle did pass away last year, and my uncle's a hunter, so um, he's been hunting for 20, 30 years. There's that much collection we have, we have to we have to move it somewhere. Oh, wow. We went down there, and uh, there was a lot of them. Bloody hell. Oh, my Lord. It looked like the bloody dungeon of death. just overwhelming and there was dead animals <laughs> everywhere. What do you think? What do I think? <laughs> Quick it out. Are there any deers left in the world? Is there any wildlife left at all? Have a look at the size of that bastard. Jesus, mate. Some of them, they're really sad. They've got sad faces. I suppose you'd be sad if somebody shot you and stuck you on the wall. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy a few greens with it, but oh, I wouldn't mind one of them. Yeah. Hey, I bought these couple of ducks, Sue. What about the fox? Oh, how much is the fox? One of them, one of them, two of them. 
I do wouldn't restrain from spending. You want to take the whole lot? Yeah, yeah, might as well. Worry, 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 worry. Spending too much. It's getting out of control. Restraint, love. <laughs> Did you hear that? Restraint. <laughs> <laughs> With a few targets in his sights, Laurie aims to make a killing of his own. Well, like, how much are these worth? I got down there for 1800 1800 Yeah, for the chicken there to the year. Yeah, but we can negotiate. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> Dealing with Laurie, he's, he, he's a character. Yeah, I'll have him for a grand. Yeah. And 400 each for these. Five? 450. Oh, look at this. Look at, he's learning, he's learning from the old man. Chuck me in that one there, I'll give you two grand. He did a lot of bundling, so um, the bundles, that's where he makes his money. So, you know, instead of buying two, hey, that's free for a couple of years, 100 bucks. I reckon I got enough. I think you got enough. Yeah, all right. You sure? I think he's got enough. The great white deal hunter's happy. 14,000 bucks worth of stuffed animals for half price. Oh. He nearly bit me, the bastard. Back at the homestead, one question remains. Where's this macabre menagerie going to go? In the morning, there was no plans to buy anything. What's his claws, Charlie? <laughs> and by 7 o'clock, we bought a whole house full of dead animals. Laurie's latest collection will take pride of place in nearly every room. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. I want a budget. I'm going to put a couple of the heads up in this room and the fox on the bar. Look at that. Yeah, good, sir. That's a few ducks. Does it look good? That looks pretty damn good. Oh, hey. She's attacked me. <laughs> a little surprise. Young Charlie provides the finishing touches. <laughs> You're a bigger f***ing idiot than your old man. Yeah.